top of the morning, friends, family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing this fine day? Hmm? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I got I got my weed socks on. <laughs> was that was that too much? You think I should back it off? I'm just kidding. There's nobody standing over there. <laughs> so the reason I bring you fine people here today is because we've had a cold snap or we've had a low pressure system move here into California this weekend, and that means that it's time to pair up some snakes. I wanted to share with you guys what snakes it is we're pairing. But first, our big beautiful girl, Roxanne, the Hypo Burmese Python, she just had a fresh shed, so I thought she might want to come show herself off to you guys. Or at least I wanted to show her off to you guys. Whether or not she wanted to or not is up to, well, you can see how she's talking about it. She's a big talker. She's friendly. Just likes to talk a lot, don't you? Hey, a little bit of shed stuck on there still. Whoa. Just a tiny bit. Help you out. Like, no. Okay, sorry, I'm sorry, we're done. She tends to run, but maybe we can get her to hang out and sit today for this video. Okay, so as I mentioned in previous videos, you can take full control over your climate in your snake room with the exception of barometric pressure. Now, you may be able to work out barometric pressure. You do take a lot of technology and being able to control the pressure in your room. I don't, I don't know how advanced anybody's going with that, but my point is when a low pressure system moves through like it has, it's a good time to start pairing up pythons. And so that's what we've done. And I wanna share which pairings we're doing with you. And keep in mind, this isn't all of the pairings that we're doing here <laughs> at Triple B, but it is the ones that we're doing this weekend. So the first one is Ricky, Pastel Inchi Clown de Make Make, who is a GHI Mojave Pinstripe Het Clown female. Also possible yellow belly, possible extreme genes. So there's a lot going on there. Um, this pairing, I just really wanted to see some GHI Mojave Clowns and maybe throw some Pinstripe and Enchi in there too. Uh, GHI Mojave Clowns I think are absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and I just love to see what happens when you add a couple extra genes on top of it. Somebody else may have done it already. I don't know that. I I honestly don't pay as much attention as I probably should to what's going on with ball python breedings out there. I just, I don't have a whole lot of time and there's so many different pairings. I just, whatever I happen to see, I'm like, ooh, that's pretty, ooh, that's pretty. And this, this is my process. <laughs> Second pairing there is Oedipus, who is a... Ah! <laughs> Oedipus, the coral glow, pied pound, coral glow pied clown to a pied het clown female princess. Obviously there we're hoping for some coral glow clown pieds, uh, but, but everything in the clutch will be pied because of the pairing, pied to pied, and 50% will be coral glow, and then 25% chance of getting clown pieds 12.5% chance of getting Coral Glow Clown Pieds, which is the project that got me into breeding ball pythons in the first place. So this is a really exciting pairing for me. I'm really hoping that we get to see the results from this pairing that I'm hoping to. And uh, yeah, I wish us Godspeed. <laughs> Third pairing there is Bruce, the Enchi Het Sunset, to Bridget, the Cinnamon Sunset. So if you guys have seen other videos of ours and you've seen our Enchi Cinnamon Sunset, obviously we're, we're hoping to make some more of those. And this will be our first pairing of a visual sunset, actually. So it'll be awesome because all the babies will be at least 100% Het Sunset. So that's fantastic. <laughs> His next pairing here is Suitor number one. Yes, that's his name. And he's an Enchi clown, 100% het pied. And he's going with our big, beautiful queen, the queen, our clown pied female. So there we're shooting for Enchi clown pieds because 
if you've seen clown pies, they're amazing. And you throw Enchi in there, it brings back more of the pattern, kind of adds some softness in as well, a little bit of a, you know, around the, around the pattern, but also just more pattern. And I just love clown pied and Enchi clown pied is the next step in the right direction, in my opinion, when it comes to getting to see all that wonderful, beautiful pattern that clown pied brings out. Ooh, getting a workout during this video, this is great. Our next pairing there is Mr. Pink, our Enchi Lesser Posset Sunset to Ty, who's a leopard spider. Now, Mr. Pink, as those of you who've watched the channel for a long time know, that's the first snake we've ever produced here at Triple B. And so I thought it was about time he got his feet wet or his willy wet or whatever you want to call it. And he's, he's in there making it work right now. And we're hoping to see a nice, beautiful pairing. Now, for those of you that are have mixed feelings about spider, don't worry because all the babies that come out spider, I'm just going to uh, feed to my indigo snakes. No, 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 I'm, I'm just kidding. Am I? I am. Not. But if you've seen leopard lessers, they're beautiful, beautiful animals and they're just incredible and throw a little enchi in there too. I think it'd be fantastic. And then to have the possibility of sunset floating around in that pairing as well. I mean, 33% het sunset is kind of a ridiculous proposition, but hey, it's fun. Our final pairing to share of the day is going to be the king, who is a coral glow pied, possible yellow belly, to Bubbles or Champagne. And Bubbles is kind of a special snake because she was produced by Ben Rennick and was one of the first ball pythons we got, actually. And with that pairing, it's, it's interesting because I'm not really looking to... Like, like a, that's not necessarily a project I'm super interested in, but I, I try to do pairings that other people might be interested in as well. So, I mean, anything het pied is going to be great. And coral glow... Um, champagnes are personally not exactly my cup of tea but i'm sure there's some other folks out there that are maybe looking to have coral glow champagne pies maybe i'm wrong maybe my approach is completely ridiculous and idiotic but you know it's amazing any of you guys still watch this channel anyway so <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just kidding kind of the one thing with me is that it's, it's kind of hard to tell whether or not i'm kidding even i don't know sometimes so if you don't know if i am or not don't don't feel left out or alone because sometimes you are me in that situation all right maybe it's time to get off this cleanse so if you made it this far in the video please go ahead and drop us a like click that thing down there whack the like button or the dislike button whichever one you're feeling today and uh, we'd appreciate it either way leave a comment down below and let us know what videos you'd like to see in the future and don't start beeping at me now thank you as I mentioned, these are not all of the pairings that we're going to be doing here this season at Triple B, but they are the ones we're doing today. If you want to see the other ones, make sure you subscribe to the channel, which is something I hardly ever say. I should say it a lot just, just now. Subscribe to the channel. You guys should subscribe. You should really consider subscribing. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Wouldn't you guys feel better about yourselves if you just subscribed? Ugh. <laughs> Oh man, we, we also do have a blood python and scrub python pairings happening this season, but they're just not together currently, so no point in showing them on camera if they're not together for this video anyway. cold weather and cuddle puddles i i built us all a little uh a thing nice huh what do you think i don't think i'm getting nearly enough pillow time over here the boys i need some pillow time i'm i got my nice uh cuddle puddle i could use some pillows you guys are hogging all the pillows I got, what's up with the pillow? <laughs> that was part of my room oh man hey noah what what do you know i know that this pillow fort is awesome. Right, I know about this pillow fort. Is that it? Uh, yeah. 
Okay. What about this pillow fort? <laughs> um, oh, you're, you want me to follow the script? Is that what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's really cool. It has room for one, and it's like a nice little pillow. Room yeah. for one? There's room for lots of us in here. Hey, Eli. See? What? What do you think about that? Room for one. Hey, Eli. See, look. Hey, Eli. What? What do you know? I know that. trying to destroy this and I tried to stop it and then I just destroyed it. Oh, and then I pooped on him and then I do <laughs> hold on him and then I punched him in the face and then I, he knocked some tooth out and then he had to go to the dentist and then I pooped on him again and then I do do him again and then I pooped on him and pooped on him. Whatever you guys are doing out there today, hope you're having a great time. Hope you're doing things with people you love and enjoying making the most of this life because it's short. Soon it will be time up. So make sure you get yours and get good and get good and whatever it is you feel. Get good and drunk, get good and whiskeyed up, get good and just make yourself feel good. A little touch of that like button. Rub the like button. Rub it. Rub it hard. Super hard. And uh, what are you doing, Snake? Freaking me out. <laughs> Aloha. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. See you guys on Monday for a new video. Bye. <laughs>